because this one, their jeans are almost in the way. Okay. So if I'm getting my anchor, two things, guys and girls. And one thing you'll really see, this is going to be difficult for you. All right? Especially with this old one. Let us put this tape as soon as you flip the person over, you know, you just got to where you're taping the ankles, right? And you're getting that wrinkle free down here. Now you flip them over, you're going to have all kinds of wrinkles on this back side, which is really the front side. Okay? So just be careful. Just understand that that's going to happen. Now, the first technique's much easier and probably more often used by you guys. All right? We're going to have a little bit of plantar flexion. we going to take a strip of tape. Right from the center of this anchor to that anchor, we're going to measure. So we know that that's our length right there. Okay? And we are going to make ourselves a fan. Okay? One thing I want you to, okay, you can roll over just a little bit just for a second, relax and walk it over. Take its own length and just This thing can snap out too. Okay, so I go too wide. Right? I want those two to be my longest two. That's what I come up off. Alright. Now I go too thick. Actually, I want to make this top wider than the bottom. Alright? So I'm basically going to go halfway wide on that one. God, you have to go to strength training class and pull the tape off of it. Okay, so we need this good thickness on this. All right, so you see how I put that one on a little bit shorter? A little bit shorter. Why do we do that? Why do they be shorter, maybe? You know the answer? Do you know, Issa? Peel it off the table, you just got the bottom one. It's the longest one. That's why. That's why the top ones are short. No trick question. No specialized tape and purpose other than getting it off the table. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does. I mean, if these were the longest ones, you're going to peel it off, it's going to be still sticking to the table, the bottom ones, right? So you make your bottom ones the longest. And it all peels up together. Okay, so we put this anchor on here. We get them to the point and we got some plantar flexion, right? Which is going to mean that we put this non-elastic band on there, and it's a little bit wide here. That's okay, right? We put that on there, and they're in plantar flexion. And now, yeah, the hang down. No, that's a different technique. Slide out here, Meg. All the way to your knees. There you go. Now I'm going to close this with an elastic tape. All right, just because we just want to compress this. All right, and I have to tear each one of these. I can't just go circular all the way down. I showed you that at the beginning, right? When Renee was here. Because if I do that, it makes it very convoluted because of the taper of this. Even though it's not going to have any wrinkles in it, it's going to be a lot more tense up here and so it's going to have convolutions. So I will tear, I will overlap the right amount. Okay, and I will go all the way down with this. Now look, when I get down here, say I got this real wide, now I'm really bridging here. My favorite way to do this is to take this just like I showed you before. And you know, Start equal pressure straight down. You can finish it in the back. It goes straight down. But basically, you're going all the way down. <clears throat> Again, you might have these ends. 
I'm not going to show you all. But if you got all these ends right here, they're going to line up here. Okay? You want to anchor your last anchor and cover these ends up. That's going to stop right there. It's going to just stop that right there. Yeah. And cover your ends up again with non elastic tape. Okay? Now, how far down do you go with the elastic tape? From the to the ankle joint. To the ankle joint. Uh, above, keep it off the malleolus, keep it off the 